LT valve stenosis. The whole video purpose is just to listen for the sound. There is a separate video made completely on the pathology, pathophysiology, etiology, and the treatment of LT valve stenosis. So LT valve stenosis, you all know that the LT valve is the valve that connects the left ventricle to the aorta. So opening of this valve is what allows the um, blood from the left ventricle to be pushed around the aorta into the rest of the body. A normal LT valve is now shown on the screen. Most people have a tricuspid or tri three valve or three leaf valve or a normal aortic valve, which is usually around four centimeters in diameter. But some people usually have a bicusp, i.e. two leaf, and that's because of the congenital they're usually born with it, and this is still normal. So when an aortic valve becomes stenotic, i.e. stenosis basically means narrowing of the valve due to fibrotic changes or atherosclerotic plaque or lipid changes, you can see the valve becomes more rigid and some sort of commercial fusion takes place. So therefore when the blood falls, when the pressure in the ventricles rise to push open the blood, blood valve, usually the valve becomes very resistant and cannot open sometimes. Therefore, the ventricles have to contract more, leading to hemodynamic changes, which we'll talk about later in a separate video. In this video, the whole purpose is simply to listen to the sound, or what would you hear on aortic valve stenotic patient upon auscultation. Usually a stenotic valve is usually around less than one centimeter. Now, normal leaflet, as you can see, can either be bi, or they can have a two leaf, or they can have three leaves. Most people in the world has three leaf, but it's still normal to have two. People with two are more at increased risk of having aortic valve stenosis because of more shear stress and leading to more oxygen-free radicals causing the valve to become um, fibrotic changes to occur. Now, aortic sclerosis can be other things like people with diabetes, hypertension, or high cholesterol, lip hyperlipidemia. These are all conditions that contribute to us aortic sclerosis. Sclerosis simply means hardening of the valves, and they can be caused by various different um, mechanisms. Rheumatic fever is probably the one that you're more, fam more familiar with, but we, we will touch upon those topics in a different video. So you can see that the, as the disease progresses, you can see the valve becomes more sclerotic, and therefore it becomes more stiff, rigid, and less able to open. Now, before we go into this, let's just l listen to what a normal heart sound would sound like. Now in aortic valve stenosis, the main thing to remember here is the aortic valve is the only one that's affected, not pulmonary valve. There will be a different video on pulmonary valve stenosis, but aortic valve stenosis would sound something like a click. Because the valve has become rigid and uh, very stiff, when the left ventricle tries to push blood from the left ventricle into the aorta through the, by opening the valve, because the valve is stiff, usually the valve does not open very easily. So therefore the, the pressure here would rise for a second where the mouse is pointing to and then that would force a very quick rapid opening of the valve causing a click sound or known as a swoosh which you can hear now. Now, what are the signs and symptoms of aortic valve stenosis? So when a patient comes into you with aortic valve stenosis, you are trying to look for breathlessness, usually chest pain, and pressure or tightness. They will complain of pressure or tightness and directly in the middle of the chest. This can be easily, very easily confused with ischemic heart disease or angina pectoris. So usually people that come in with aortic valve stenosis can present with myocardial infarction. So be very careful when diagnosing the patient. Fainting, also called syncope. Syncope occurs because um, of the de de uh, decreased blood perfusion of the brain, which we'll explain in the latter video where the rest of the stuff are explained. Palpitations or arrhythmia such as ventricular arrhythmia and supraventricular arrhythmias can occur. Decline in activity. So when someone usually with aortic valve stenosis presents with breathlessness and chest pain upon mild exertion, so therefore they, was, they have a very declining activity level or reduced ability to do normal activities required in mild exertion. This is because of self-explanatory because of less blood perfusion to the muscle because the heart cannot work as hard. And last but not least, what we're interested in is the heart murmur. Now, where are the different cardiac auscultation points on the heart? So here, I've highlighted quickly five different points. You can pause the video now to find out which area corresponds to which type of disease. So you can see here the first point, or known as the aortic area, or the left right base, usually is where the aortic stenosis is best heard. Number two is a pulmonic area where the pulmonic valve is best heard, so pulmonary stenosis. Left sternal border, or known as herbs point, can be a generalized 
where you can hear most of the heart sounds, four tricuspid valve and five mitral valve, also known as the apex area. So the apex area is very important because the mitral valve is best heard here. So pause the video to, so on the left hand side, you can see all the different types of diseases associated with the different cardiac auscultation areas. Now, the points of auscultation here on aortic valve stenosis includes four main points. So the first one is the right base or the second intercostal space. So you can see on the left hand side where this would correlate to on the chest. And the second point would be the carotid artery. So just to confirm that this is aortic valve stenosis, a doctor or someone should always confirm that in upon the carotid area region, you can hear the sound being deflected. So the swoosh or the clicking sound. Now let's take a look at whether, now I'm, I'm going to stop speaking and commentating on the video and let you guys hear what the aortic valve stenosis sound, sounds like.